hello you are welcome in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential problem we have k power 3 divided by 2 equals 3 power 3 divided by 2 we are solving for all the solutions of k both complex and real solution now this is how we are going to go about it we can take this right here down to this other part of this equation we now have k power 3 over 2 minus 3 power 3 over 2 and this equals 0. Now what we can do is we can simply have this as k power then instead of this 3 divided by 2 at the exponent we can have 1 divided by 2 and raise it to the power of 3. Then we have minus 3 raised to the power of we have again 1 divided by 2 and raise this to the power of 3 and everything equals 0. Now remember a power n all power m equals a power n times m. Now the next thing we can do is remember if you have a power 1 over 2 this equals root of a. So by using that same identity we are going to have this one will give us root of k raised to the power of 3 minus root of 3 raised to the power of 3 and this equals 0. Now we have 3 here, we have 3 here, we can apply this other identity. a power 3 minus b power 3 equals we have a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared and in this particular case a equals root of k while b equals root of 3. By substituting all these using this particular identity we are now going to have root of k minus root of 3 times we have root of k let me make use of square bracket here this is raised to the power of 2 because we have a squared plus a b that means we will have root of k times root of 3 plus b squared that means we will have root of 3 raised to the power of 2 and this equals 0. the next thing we are going to do is we can have root of k minus root of 3 times this will give us k plus this we are going to have root of 3k plus here we are going to have 3 and everything here equals 0. So that means we can equate each of these to equal 0 we will have root of k minus root of 3 equals 0 or we have k plus root of 3k plus 3 equals 0. Now we need to solve each of these to find the value of k. For the first one here we have root of k minus root of 3 equals 0. We can take this over here we have root of k equals root of 3. So what happens is if you take the squares of both part of this equation you are going to have k equals 3 because this will eliminate this and this will eliminate this. So k equals 3 is one of the real solutions or might be the only real solution right now. So the next thing we are going to do is to solve this quadratic equation to find the other, other solutions. So we have k plus root of 3k plus 3 equals 0. So what we can do is we can take over this and this to this other part of this equation. We have root of 3k equals negative 3 minus k. So what happened is we can take the squares 
of both part of this equation. So this will eliminate this. We will have 3k equals, this simply means we have negative 3 minus k times negative 3 minus k. So this will give us 3k equals, we expand this, we will have 9, then we have plus 3k, we have plus 3k plus k squared, right? So everything here we are going to have 3k equals 9 plus 6k plus k squared. So we can move this down here. We will now have and we rearrange k squared. We have plus 6k will then minus 3k. We have 3k plus 9 and everything equals 0. So this is the quadratic equation we are going to solve and we will solve it making use of the formula method. We have k equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. And from this equation we have a equals 1, b equals this 3 here which is the coefficient of k and c equals 9 that is the constant. By inserting everything here, we have k equals negative b, that is negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9, and everything divided by 2 times 1. So we are going to have k equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 times 9, that is 36 divided by 2. So we have k equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 27 because 9 minus 36 is negative 27 divided by 2. From here we have k equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 27 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. So from here we have k equals negative 3 plus or minus, here is square root of 27, we can have it as square root of 9 times 3, times square root of negative 1, we have i, and this is divided by 2. So we have k equals negative 3 plus or minus, we can have it as square root of 9 times square root of 3, times i divided by 2. So finally, we can have k equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 times root of 3 times i and everything divided by 2. We can decide to factor out 3 divided by 2. So we will now have k equals 3 divided by 2 times what we are going to have here is negative 1 plus or minus we can bring in the i before the root of 3, i times root of 3. Then we close the bracket. So the solutions are, remember, this is 2 in 1 solutions because we have plus and we have minus. And we also have k equals 3. So we have one real solution and two complex solutions. So that's just it. Thank you and goodbye.